In today's video, we are learning about the function caching in Python. So if you like this video, so please like my video, share your friends, and if you are new on my channel, so first of all, subscribe my channel and all the notifications the bell and please access my Python playlist and bookmark it also. And please see this video step by step because I will be telling you all things step by step. And this function caching is uh, it is very important thing. It is your in your toolbox of Python. Okay, so it is very important. You should don't skip this video. Share with your friends and neighbors and all families and share this video. And please tell me about what type of big video I will be uploaded. What types of videos I will be uploaded. Then the Python series will end. So what? type of series we will be going where well, our well, this is the last the last thing there is still last of our videos is coming like 86 videos we will be completed till 1 to 86 and now our the python series are 100 videos but this will be ending so please tell me then python uh, python series will end then what type of series will be start please suggest in uh, in the comment okay by or uh, the django please tell me or like javascript or please tell me so now i will not take a long time so let's do a coding with laughing so guys in today's video we are learning about function casing in python function casing is a technique for improving the performance of a program by storing the results of a function called so that you can reuse the results instead of recomputing them every time the function is called then and can be particularly useful when a function is computed relationally expensive or when the inputs to the function are unlikely to change frequently in python Function caching can be achieved using the fun tools dot tru catch decorator. The fun tools dot tru catch decorator is used to catch the results of a function so that you can reuse the results instead of recomputing them every time the function is called. Here is an example. There is one example I will be copy it and paste it. Then I will be run it. So it will give me six seven six seven six five. Here you can see, as you can see, the function tool uh, dot lru catch decorator is used to catch the results of uh, of FLB of FIB function. The max size parameter is used to specify the maximum number of results to catch. Is max size is set to none. The catch will have unlimited unlimited size. Benefits of catching. Benefits of function catching. Function catching can have a significant impact on the performance performance of a program, particularly for computationally expensive functions. By catching the results of a function, you can avoid having to recompute the results every time. Every time the function is called, which it can save a significant amount of time and computational resources. Another benefit of function catching is that uh, it can simply it simply free the code of a program by removing the need to manually catch the results of a function with the functstool.try catch. Decorator the catching is handle it automatically so you can focus on the on writing the core logic of your program. Conclusion needs ending. Function catching is a technique for improving the performance of a program by storing the results of a function so that you can use the results instead of recomputing them every time the function is called in python 3 function catching can be achieved using the func tools dot tri cache decorator which provides an easy and efficient way to catch the results of a function whether you are writing a computationally expensive program or just want to simply your code function catching is great technique to have in your toolbox uh, this uh, let uh, this I will tell you this it must be in your uh, python toolbox okay so I will, when I this one more example then I will be here you can see this one more example I have so when I will be running this example so it's coming like 100 done for 20 like and now coming like 10 done for 2 
Here you can see it is coming. Just wait a moment. Like now it is coming like 30. Done for 6. Now 100. Done for 20. 10. Done for 2. 30. Done for 6. X. 305. Done for 61. Here you can see it and why it is coming. Where here I will be right like uh, like 20, then for 20, like 2, then for 2, then F in FX we write like 6, then for 6. Like here you can see it. It is very simple. And this come like 100, then for 20. It is very simple. And this is called the function catching in Python. Okay, this is a function catching in Python. I will tell you in today's video. Here you can see it is very simple to what uh, and if you change here like 100 shall be 200 263 shall be 258 when i will be run it from here and now let's you see it it will be take a time to run okay so now let's see it now it is come like 500 done for 200 it is very simple here you can see it. now uh, 1315 done for 250 it is giving in numbers like what like different numbers i not write 500 but they will give me 500 to his own and here you can see it is very simple and now just come like 30 for 6 and i not write here 30 here i not write 30 but it is giving its own okay here you can see like 500 done for 200 1315 done for 258 here you can see it is very simple function caching is very simple and it must be in the toolbox of python okay so i hope you can understand i will be in today's video i will be really benefits of function caching and function caching and i tell you all things in a bit example also so if you uh, enjoy this video so please like this video Share your friends and subscribe to my channel. And if you are new my channel, so first of all, you subscribe and all the not notification bell. Then go on to the YouTube and search my channel by the name of Code with PK. And then go here, then subscribe and all the notification bell. And please do my subscriber rate hundred k. You are, you are very very good my very very beautiful my audience. As uh, you will be do seven point ninety three k subscribers. So please do a uh, eight hundred subscribers. Then when when you uh, when you do a 800 subscribers, so I make a one very very beautiful and big video for you, and then I will be upload it. Okay, and now here you can see it. So please like this video and share my friends and see my all videos. Okay, and please bookmark my playlist and access my playlist also. Okay, and uh, see my all videos till one to uh, one to uh, eighty six. Or okay, so now here you can see in our uh, Python series are also till ending. It ending will be come. Okay, and now here you can see in today's video we are uh, I tell you in function caching. So in tomorrow video I will be tell you about solution of news app. Okay, so see this video. See do this video. Do this video and tomorrow video also. So now I'll meet you next class and next very amazing class of Python. So for today, goodbye.